Morris. Try to do the same. Brought down. Matthew Prue on the special team. And the special teams are special in Montreal when Larry Taylor gets that ball. Well, they sure are in three keys to this play. Number one, Etienne Boulet. Great block. Number two, Ramon, Ramon Guzman seals his man. Number three, the center, Jocelyn Frenette. He's unblocked. It's Larry Taylor's job to beat the unblocked center. There's Boulet's block, one. There's Guzman, two. And there's Frenette on the ground, grabbing it's nothing, as Larry Taylor is off to the races. Riders offense trying to get it in gear here. Deep and wide open on the near sideline. Weston Dressler one-on-one -on -one with Matthew Prue. And a big play from Durant to Weston Dressler, who was so open. Durant had no problem finding him. And here you see Weston Dressler just gets lost in coverage as you see both Chip Cox and Billy Parker covering the short route. They leave the Riders' leading receiver deep, leaving only the safety, Matthew Prue, to come over and bail them out. So the Riders try to answer that phenomenal play by Taylor. Bursting outside. Hugh Charles, five-yard pickup. And just going back to the previous play, Rod, a, a great answer for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders after giving up a big play on special teams. That's what you want to see from your football team when your head coach, Ken Miller, is them rebound immediately and come back with a big play of their own. No surprise that it comes from the 2008 CFL Rookie of the Year, Weston Dressler. This is a team that strode to a 23 nothing advantage early on last week against the visiting Hamilton Tiger Cats. It was so impressive in the first half. Dressler again. Former star from the University of North Dakota, Weston Dressler, last year's Rookie of the Year. A couple of catches already tonight, and they will move the chains. A nice adjustment here by Weston Dressler. This ball is a little bit behind him. You see him come in motion from the backfield. He's number seven. Had to wait up a little bit for this one. A bit of a shoestring catch. Manages to get it, haul it in, get his shoulders turned upfield. Pick up an extra yard or two to pick up the first down. Close to the red zone now. Durant with protection over the middle. And the catch made again by Dressler, who loses his lid and is brought down near the five-yard line on the initial hit by Billy Parker. Well, it's been Dressler left, Dressler right, and Dressler over the middle here on this drive. And it's working for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Dressler is the middle receiver in this three-man set to the wide side of the field. Just comes underneath in front of his man. A timing route with him and his quarterback, Darian Durant. Thread the needle and move the chains again. Black looking in zone and trying to lay out in a penalty interference call coming here. And once again, it's Dressler working against Gerald Brown, the DB in the end zone. And this one's going to move the ball to the one-yard line as the big boys, the big team, comes into the ball game. And remember last Passion week what happened. Montreal, number 39 in goal. We're going to the one-yard line, first down. There's Glenn Johnson, the referee tonight. Remember last week when they brought the jumbos in, <laughs> tight ends in. Keith Shulligan got his first CFL touchdown against the Cats. I don't think they're going to fool the Owls here tonight. Stephen Giles comes in, as he often does on these short yardage plays, trying to convert, gives the Saskatchewan the touchdown. Charles again in the backfield, who Charles wrapped up. We saw such creativity last week from the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and their short yardage team. You mentioned the touchdown path to Keith, pass to Keith Scholigan. We also saw them run a, an end around with Weston Dressler. Here they just go basic. No tricks, but the Montreal Alouettes sniffed this one out, led by John Bowman. John Bowman and Anwar Stewart. The big bookends for the Alouettes. And they stopped them again. 
Zarka and Charles again. Charles, no! Stuffed! Oh, we know this Montreal defense has been money in the first quarter of football games. Clearly, this is a record they take very seriously. Shutting teams down early. And a surprise to see Hugh Charles in the backfield on that. He was in for that entire series. It looks like they're rolling the backs, but here on third down at crunch time, it's the bigger back, their money guy, Wes Cates, coming into the ball game. So it will be third down and goal. Cates in the backfield with Sarka. Giles behind center. Wes Cates, no! near the goal line. Yet to allow a first quarter touchdown this season. In fact, through seven weeks, only allowed 12 points overall. You think they take pride in that record? Look at this stand. Three straight, no question. How about Shea Emery on third down? Slicing into the backfield to shut down Wes Cates. When you're the Saskatchewan Rough Riders against the Montreal Alouettes, when you get an opportunity like that, man, you better cash in. Calvillo and almost picked off. Mike McCullough in the middle for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. If he snares that, he might even score. Well, you know, we talked about the, the offense having an opportunity from the one-yard line. How about this opportunity? Here's Mike McCullough, the middle linebacker. He drops back into zone coverage here. Anthony Calvillo is trying to hit Kerry Watkins on that quick slant. McCullough gets in that lane but unable to finish. You know, this is the thing against Montreal. They're such a good football team that your margin of error is much narrower than it is against other squads. Calvillo in the end zone, dropped down and hit from behind off the edge. John Schick in there. And a big play and from the goal line now. The Alouettes may be prone to give up two points now on his safety. And John Chick lines up from that right defensive end spot. Once again, working against Josh Bork, the tackle. Great use of his hands, just drives Bork off of him with the block. A bull rush and into Calvillo to affect that pass. Good response from the Saskatchewan Rough Riders defense after a demoralizing stand by Montreal's deep. Duvall will give up to you. Steps out of bounds, we'll kick it away when we come back. Just over four minutes to go in the opening quarter, and the score is 8-2 Montreal. I've been calling Jet, though. Anwar Stewart, one of the anchors of this Montreal D that has not allowed a touchdown since the fourth quarter three weeks ago against the Edmonton Eskimos. Well, we talk all the time in this league about the importance of, of how you respond to adversity. Well, that Edmonton game was Montreal's only loss this season. And to see their defense bounce back from that loss, a game in which Edmonton made some big plays offensively, but to see them bounce back the way they have, absolutely phenomenal. Their defense has only given up 108 points now on the season. Morris again to the 30, up to the 35-yard line, and again, Darian Durant and the Rough Riders will try to shake off the fact they got extinguished at the goal line by the Alouettes. And look at the first quarter points allowed so far in their seven games. Yeah, you add those up. As we said, never giving up a touchdown this season. Just four field goals, a total of 12 first quarter points allowed in the first seven games of the season. In a league where there are as many ways to score as there are in the Canadian Football League, that's unheard of. Apparently not against Montreal, <laughs> so far at least. The handoff up the middle. Wes Cates. Had a breakout week last week with 117 yards on 19 carries against Hamilton. This is a guy who had 14 touchdowns a year ago for Saskatchewan. Just two majors so far in 09. Yeah, Wes Cates missed the first couple of weeks of the season with that shoulder injury. Missed much of training camp as well. Grant 
with protection and uh, hit hard, but hanging on. Shea Emery supplied the lick, and Weston Dressler a little slow to get up, but Weston Dressler can take a licking. So too can Rob Bag, as we saw last week against Hamilton. Smallish receivers with good hands take some punishment. Well, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders are sending a message with this pass into tight coverage to Weston Dressler. And that message is, stop me. I dare you to stop me. Diamond Ferry with the hit. Close to midfield now. Durant hangs in. Goes vertical. And open lane. Unable to hang on is Teron Walker. And there is a penalty flag on the far side of the field. The 37-yard line of Montreal. Well, Teron Walker got in behind the corner Davis Sanchez on this play might be an interference Legal call contact on a receiver Montreal number 11 that's a 10 yard penalty and first down so this call isn't on Sanchez who is in, in coverage it was instead on the linebacker Chip Cox he starts off on the th he's the third man in defensively third man from the top of your screen But you see Sanchez, Cox got the call, but Sanchez on the outside with a little grab on Walker, and he got away with one. Case, little sweep here. Cox in on the lick. And about six or seven yards. This is just a situation that's going to require some patience for the Saskatchewan offense. It's important for them to establish West Cates in this football game, even if they don't necessarily have success early. So far, it's been Weston Dressler. Primary target. Play action, look out, Darian Durant going deep and open. Sanchez, the coverage on Jason Claremont, who was alone, and then suddenly the Alouettes convert.